Come on, give Jesus. Tell somebody, welcome back, welcome back. Tell somebody, welcome back. Tell somebody, welcome back. Hallelujah. When you wear it, Jesus, so when we hit them, when you wear it, Jesus, so when we hit them, when you wear it, Jesus, so when we hit them, when you wear it, Jesus, so when we hit them. Somebody give Jesus praise. I got Russia Russ. Oji tu kuti bi edima, oji bi edima, oh oh oh. Oji tu kuti bi edima, oji bi edima, oh oh oh. Aya iye kama, iye le kama, iye le kama, toya da. Iye le, iye le, iye le, iye le, iye le, iye le. Simbas, sem sem, sem sem, sem sem, sem sem, sem sem. What you Wherever you are, you know the Lord loves you more than I. Putana wa putana wa. Go on. Puta kabara Jesus. Onye ne mi fe dadi e kumu me. Chuko kiko nye di taje onye yiri di chuko kete mo. Abo onye ne me de mo. Iya machuko ne me. Ola machuko na lo. Iya machuko ne me. Onye ne me me ma. Onye ne me ma ma. Onye ne nye wa. Chuko na kazi mo koko. Chuko ne kuli mo lo. Iya machuko ne me. Ima no kare la kare. Iya machuko ne me. Ima no kare la kare. Ola machuko na lo. Ima no kare la kare. Iya me iya me iya ma. Iya me iya me iya ma. Oh, 
Ali at his of Sonia Wedding. So Poki Konya de Kagi Arabaribit Arabata Obamima. You are the great almighty God. You are the wisdom of the wise. You are greater than the greatest. You are higher, higher than the highest. Wealth that you really 
scripture says, unto you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. The kingdom of God has some mysteries. And it is not every man that has the capacity to divide or to help the people understand the mysteries of the kingdom. But any truth revealed to you is for your increase. It's for you to use it later on and become established in Christ. If you want to be a doctor, a medical, a doctor, you must go to medical school. But if you don't go, if you are enrolled into the medical school and you don't attend classes, you can't take knowledge. And when you can't take knowledge, you can't be approved by anybody. When you come out and you're there like as a lawyer, you need to study because constantly you keep on studying. Every profession that you get into in life can only be sustained by the number of depth of knowledge you have. So if you're a born again Christian, the Bible tells us, even as a seed, you gave him, gave the power to become the sons of God, and the word of God is that power. So if you don't know the word of God, you lack power. You'll be weak. There are many things that I teach in the church. Those who don't attend the services within those teachings, they'll be making argument. They're the people that cause problem, cause confusion in the body of Christ. Because they refuse to grow when others are growing. A man that does not know the formula of mathematics will hate mathematics, hate the lecturer, hate students who are dealing with mathematics because he or she does not know the formula. And that is how it is in the body of Christ. How can this thing be? It's a call for knowledge. I know it will be, but how? How can I know? How can this be? How can my bitterness return? The Bible said that the children of this world are wiser in their own faith. You know why they study every day? Gather knowledge, they increase in knowledge, they search, they search for wisdom because wisdom is hidden. It is to the glory of God to conceal matter, then it is to the honor of the king to search the matter out. Tonight, a matter will be sought out for us. That element is not in order. This sound, I don't like this sound at all. Amen. Make it sound as it used to sound before that. Rain stopped people yesterday. But Tuesday and Wednesday, the car was gone. But today, God has chosen those that will hear his word. Many are called. Few are chosen. The rest are frozen. Don't be among the frozen, the freezed ones. Are you listening to me, friend? With great joy from my belly, as we stand on our feet, the ark is already in the house. Whenever the ark enters anywhere, that God must bow, and the people shall be blessed and be lifted. Ladies and gentlemen, with great joy.
fire the law. I took phone. That was around my time. I said, Pastor, there is a woman here. I told her she's a medical doctor. She's crying. And the pastor said she's not a medical doctor. He said, whatever that is in your mouth, keep saying it. My grace is upon you. From that day, I became a prophet. With Jesus' joy, let's celebrate my father, Bishop Hugo Webbs. for 
will ask you by the reason of this grace that I have received, speak to me to every man that is in this house. And let the word I speak not be words that is motivated by philosophies of men, but by the spirit of the Lord. And let every satanic argument cease. And let every satanic accusation be silenced. Give your people judgment. Give them victory. In the name of Jesus, and let every man and woman, under the sound of my voice, those watching us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Father, let them testify at the end of the day, and let our testimony be great. In Jesus' wonderful name, I pray. Can your MM go up to heaven? Can this MM be authoritative? Can you shout an excited amen? Come on, shake your body and shout that amen like a thunder. Sit down and never go down in line. Bring your jotter and your Bible and write. We are here today to take our matter to court. Here on earth, we have lower courts and higher courts. We have lower courts like the customary court, the magistrate court. We have higher courts like high court, court of appeal, and supreme court. Justice in this world is open to the highest bidder, but with God it is free. But in this world, the highest bidder can have judgment. And one of the reasons why we have not had our judgment, like some people will say, if God's judgment is free, I've been in church, I've received prophetic words from the Lord, I've had this from God, God has said this to me, God has said that to me, why have this prophecy not come to pass? Why have my giving and sowing is not measurable to the where I am today. The reason is this, because you have not reminded God of his promises. We, you may be righteous, live a good life, have good morale, and remain poor without reminding God of his promises. God wants us to be of his word. How many times have you knelt down to pray to remind God of the prophetic words that you have received from our man of God in the house. Failure to remind God of his promises and his word and remind him will make you to be damned. You will not be justified until you remind God of his words and promises concerning you. You need to remind God of his covenant. You need to remind God of his oath. You need to remind God of the prophetic word that have gone over your life. You need to remind God of the revelation he has given you, the revelation he gave you, the dreams he gave you. You need to remind him of this that are yet to manifest. Remind God of this word that these things are yet to manifest. If you fail to remind God of this, you will still remain where you are. In court, cases are won by how much you put the revered past cases or supreme court cases in favor of others. That is why people go to court, their attorney will quote laws. Cases that were won in supreme court, they will remind the judge that says so, so thing happens so, so time and then this thing was the judgment was passed in favor of this because of this and because of that. How many times have you sat down on your knees to remind God of a particular situation, of a particular thing he did for someone, testimony, somebody stood in the church and gave a testimony. The man of God stood in church and gave testimony and said, this brother, this, 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 that did this, and God did this to him. How many times have you come back home to remind God to do the same thing to you by the reason of the action you have done because the spirit of Jesus is the spirit of testimony. 
and testimony beget testimony. That is why men of God will say, this boy that did this, this happened to him. Now, if you have done this, you have done this, you have done that, have you come back to remind God of those things? Failure to do that will still keep you stagnant in life. Are you following me? David said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the court of the law, because that is where judgment takes place. If we have opportunity to remind God of his word, yes, he is guilty, he will tell God, I'm not, yes, I'm guilty, but Jesus has taken my place. Yes, I'm met to, yes, this thing is happening to me, but Jesus has borne my disease, and then victory will be given to him. But we use Job as a case study today. Job will be our case study. In Job chapter 1, the Bible tells us how Job was so rich and was the richest man in the East. And was so blessed and everybody feared him. And Job was everywhere. In chapter 1, we will hear that there was a meeting and the court of heaven starts and devil also came to that same meeting. And when he came, God gave good testimonies concerning Job and said a lot of things concerning Job. Then Satan went out to search for Job and took permission. And Job never knew that something had gone wrong in the meeting. Let me tell you, in a church like this, destinies are decided. So when you miss service, you must ask people what is the prayer point. What prayer point did they pray in service? What did the man of God teach? What happened in the service? What is the prayer point? Because matters are decided in the church. The church is the court of the law. So Job did not understand this. In Job chapter 1 verse 15, the Bible recorded that the servants went and killed the horses of Job, stole the cattle of Job, and Job didn't know that judgment had been passed against him in the court of God. That God had allowed the people to go. Now what happened? The pitiffs in the court of God, God allowed the demons to go. So they were agents. They had to go through the service. In Job chapter 1 verse 17, the charities came out and stole the cattle of Job and killed the servants of Job. And Job was crying. Now, are these people the real enemies of Job? No. In Job chapter 2, in verse 1 to 3, we will now see the real thief, that the real thief was the devil. And this time around, God told him, he said, I give you a restraining order in the soul of Job. Do not touch his soul. But every other thing go ahead. Do you know that so many things you are suffering in life is because you have refused to raise an altar of judgment. And that is why you are going through those things you are going through. You are ignorant of it. You don't know judgment that have been passed against you. So sometimes the man of God wake up, he call you on phone, he say, I want to see you in church, come. You are saying, ah, Papa, don't worry, I will be there. There are certain judgments that will not be overruled until you are present. So Job keep going through what he was going through. Job never knew that these things that was going through in his life could be stopped. He kept suffering. He kept suffering. He kept suffering. Until one particular day, Job was cursing the day he was born. Now, how many times have you cursed the day you met a man? Some of us have cursed the day we met one friend or the other who was our best friend. Now he's our worst enemy. You cursed the, that day. You cursed the moon. You cursed everything. But Job was cursing these days without even knowing the cause of his problem. Not knowing that he should bring the element into judgment. He should bring things into judgment. Until Job chapter 38 in verse 12, the Lord said to him, have you ever commanded the money? This is a meeting 
that we are moving from bitterness to sweetness. There are so many factors that have caused you bitter in life. I have seen people with money, yet they are bitter. I have seen people that occupy good position in life. I will be envying them from afar. But as a pastor, when I get close to them, I will see that happiness, sweetness is far from them. And they are looking for solution. They want judgment to take place. This very evening, by the anointing and corporate anointing in the house, every factor, human factor, the cosmic, the human being, the spiritual factor that have caused you bitterness in life will be bring unto judgment and the Lord will set you free. Then Job continued and then God asked Job, you must bring these things to judgment. In Isaiah 41, we see God inviting us to come to judgment. Like I said before, God himself invited us to his court. He said, let's come to his court. Let us come with a strong argument. Let us come with a strong reasoning. And there came that Isaiah, God came to Isaiah and looked at Ezekiah and, and, and God said to Isaiah, go and tell Ezekiah to prepare and die. When Isaiah came as a prophet, Isaiah is a real prophet of God. He prophesied. You, there are certain things that make your prophecy not to come to pass. When Isaiah came and gave a prophecy to God, to, to Ezekiah, and said, Ezekiah, thus says the Lord God, this is what I have had. You are going to die. Prepare yourself to die. Isaiah looked at him. Ezekiah looked at Isaiah and said, God bless you. I have had you. Thank you. He went back. He went to God with an argument. He said, Lord, have I not done this? I have reformed Israel. I brought religion reformation. I made this sacrifice. I did this sacrifice. I did this on the altar. I did this and this and this. He can do this. See time and harvest time never cease. Won't I be alive to reap what I have sown? He came with a stronger argument and judgment and that overruled the prophecy of Isaiah. Many years ago, Papa told me something he was teaching me. He was teaching me something on, on power. On, he was teaching me on things that can stop prophecy. And one of the things he taught me was the tears of a prophet. I think he taught it in this church. You know, he taught me. I have some of those things. Now, there are things that stop prophecy. Do you know that a member sitting close to you can stop your prophecy? A prophecy can come out of your head and he say, this will happen to you. That member will not go to Babalawo. He go to God and say, God, but I am the one doing this and doing this and doing this. Why will you bypass me and bless this person? With that strong argument, that prophecy can stop. That prophecy can stop. To that argument. So God is a God of his name. He said, come, let's reason this out. You are saying, why have God not blessed me? I'm an international man. I'm an international figure. Why will you? See, God do not lift a man and allow him to go down. If God has blessed you that you are in a level where you should be enjoying seven fleet of cars, convoy, he will not bring you down from that level. It takes somebody with a stronger argument to take you out from that position. That's what we're talking today. At your own time, you read 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, Romans 8, verse 37, Daniel 7, verse 22. Because if we start reading these things, we won't go so far. Now, God wants us to do what we call issuing a restraining order. We must go to the court of God and issue a restraining order to the enemy of our destiny, to the thief. A restraining order is what stop devil in his tricks. You know, when somebody is attacking you, or the law enforcement agent are after you, or someone is doing one thing or the other, you go for a restraining order in the court, you take a restraining order and stop what? The activities. When you come to the house of God like this, and you say, every power working against me, cease. what you are doing is issuing a restraining order. Job was supposed to issue a restraining order. That was why God told him, have you commanded the morning to bring his spring? 
Have you ever wake up to speak to the sun? Isaiah 1, Psalm 1 to 1 says, The sun shall not strike you by what? By day. And the moon by what? That is a restraining order. When you are going out in the morning, no evil shall be for you. Have you issued a restraining order to the elements? There are four things a man must conquer on earth. Water, the element, water. Fire, which is the sun, the moon. The wind. That is why Jesus said, the words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. That is the air element. Then the land, which is the earth. And when you conquer these four things, that was what God wanted Job to do. God wanted Job to start speaking to those elements, which is a tree. When you look at a native doctor, everything the native doctor does is where they have most of them. When you look at you and I, we have to do with the earth. Everything that Batman revolves around the earth. Right? We wear clothes. It comes from fiber or cotton. Where do you get it? From the earth. Our shelter, our houses, everything about the house, where do you get it from? The car we use, the aircraft, where do you get it from the sea? From where? From where? Have you ever deal with the earth? Ask you to come with cola not, and somebody will say, white cola not, white cola not. Cola not is an ordinance. I'm not going to talk about ordinances now. I wanted to talk about ordinances, but not today. When Papa is here, sometimes when I want to teach, when he's around, I start stammering. <laughs> now, now, is there anybody here that your mother got married in this side of the world without cola not? No. Eh? No. Or you got married without cola not? No. Even if is in the church marriage. The pastor will say during the reception, where is Koat? Kola not. Or you did your child dedication in the church without Kola not. Eh? So tell me why a wicked man cannot use that same little Kola not and hurt you if you cannot give it an order. They give you a title in your church, Kola not will be enough. These are elements. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, now, there are some certain things you want to do. You must represent your family. That is why I said today, come with your family. But if we are not fully represented. So I'm going to move this meeting till tomorrow. I will do the teaching practical and then move it till tomorrow. So that you come with your family. Those that are not there, you bring their pictures. Some of them, you bring their clothes. Because we were bringing to judgment that at the end of this meeting, everything that heaven has for us will be incarnated in the physical. I thought your heaven would have been better than this. God wants us to issue a restraining order. That is why he said in Matthew chapter 18 verse 18, whatsoever you bind there on earth is bound in heaven. Even the angels, we can stop them. Joshua commanded the son to stand still. He said, if you are, are you, he saw the command of God, say, are you for us or against us? He said, we are for you. You command angels. They are ministering spirits. They minister to us. One of the things Papa taught me, you know, when, when, when I came into the prophetic ministry, he taught me something. He said, he said, these angels you will see, that you will not serve them. It's the angels that bring information in the street. He says, sometimes they will come to you physically. You will feel the presence of the angel. You'll be talking to them. Well, sometimes my wife will say, what are you talking to? As I'm speaking to the angel, I'm giving him charge. So you are calling the angel, you won't serve him. You are, he's bringing you information from the street because they are ministering spirits and he has made us flame of fire. So we bring them, and when they are not serving us very well, we we'll bring them into judgment. You bring them into judgment. How many of you are ready for judgment here? Put your hands down. God said to me this very evening, I hear the Lord. I hear him. I issue a restraining order to any form of sickness in your body. Any form of heinous. 
in your health, whatever that is called disease, whatever that is called discomfort, in your finances, in your environment, I issue a restraining order by the blood of Jesus. I cease their activities. Let them operate no more. If you shut them three times, it is done. A restraining order is a temporal order issued to prohibit an individual from carrying out a particular action. That is why the man of God pray for you today against one, one somebody is having an oppression, a satanic oppression, and the person manifests, the thing will cease. After some time, it will come back. Because what was issued was a restraining order. Then the person goes back and say, that is why Jesus said, if you cast a demon, the demon will leave the body. And then he will go back. And after many years, he will return back and see that. So the demon leaves. He come back. He go back to God. To another judgment to God and say, yes, they gave me an order. But this person is not doing a good service. Come, Jesus. The Lord said, I should ask you, the horseman given to you, of what use it is for him? And why will he protect you against attack? I was praying for you last night. I prayed. The time I was doing my meditation and I stepped speaking in tongues. And the angel of the Lord said to me, Ask her. You say angels will serve her. I said, Yes. He said, Why will angels serve her? Of what use is her husband to him? And I said to myself, I will ask you this question in the private. God said to me, No, I should ask you now. And when you were singing on the altar, you know, there is something about you that if people who I know you in this church, I know you. Because I have given you prophecy even before you were married, before you got married, right? I gave you prophecy. So each time I come around, I see you, I'm happy. At least I know you, um, you, two of you. So whenever I see two of you, I know your face very well. So when I see two of you, these are two faces I know very well. I'll be very, very happy. Of what use is it to God? You can answer that. Come, let me help you. I see you crying and nobody helping you. And your mother was carrying her hand on her head, running her together. And she came to the altar. And then the enemy was busy accusing her. And your clothes was filthy. Like Joshua, the high priest, was standing on the altar with a filthy cloth. Come here, let me help you. Come here, run. Look at this place. You have a husband. You love yourself. Tell him to cover this roof so that God will cover shame. I see a shame that is coming on you. And nothing can take away this shame except service and sacrifice. Let the impact of your husband be felt in the church. And shame will be taken away from you. I lie not under the altar. I speak under unction. This man has children, and they are saying, why can you be part of us that will come and inherit where you have not labored? So why do you want to lab, reap where you have not labored? And I see the man feeling you in his will, saying, everything I have, I want to give to her. This is the girl that will take care of me of my old age. The man said, this is the daughter I have that I never have. And when the mother tries to speak against you, the mother's man protects you. But the Lord said, of what use it is for me to fight your battle? Everybody stand to your feet. Clap your hands and pray for her. La bala kashita la bata la boshita la badaya. La hata ya bosha ya ndala basita la badaya. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Why you help me sing the song? You look past my sins. 
My shame I bought me love You look beyond me love You look beyond me love Praise the Lord My guilt, my sin, I brought your love beyond me. You looked beyond me. You looked past my guilt, my sin, my shame, and brought your love. You looked beyond me. You looked beyond me. Yeah, I'm the one, I'm the one that you have shown me this. You have shown me this. You have shown me this. Say, so Father, I'm the one, I'm the one that you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy, Lord. You have shown me I'm the little boy, the lost sheep, ah! on what he yet you brought your love in me. I was like a cold, I need a coven, fashion to taste, yet you have clothed me with your righteousness. You my guilt, my sin, fame, and fortune, Lord. You look beyond me, you look beyond me. Father, you look past, you look past my sin. You look beyond me. will feel the presence of God. As you sing it, you will feel, somebody stand by her back. You will feel God's presence and grace will overtake you. Sing it.
trying to tell me something. I said, Lavi, my mother said, come. It is better you are duped in the name of Jesus than you are duped in any name. That is what my mother told me. And from that day, I took it. If you think I am playing, but because I have mentioned Jesus, don't take it like I'm praying. Take what I'm telling you serious. If you will sell yourself and help your daughter to roof this place, do it so that shame will not come near you. I didn't tell you to give me money. I didn't tell you to give man of God money. I didn't tell you to do anything. I said to you, anyhow you can help your daughter, let her husband impact be felt in this church. So a man of God came to the church and was giving my wife prophecy. I bought her a car. My wife took the car and gave out. She carried up, they do you or not give out. And I went inside, carried the gas cooker too. I said, Since you are giving, me too, let me give. I did it out of annoyance. But today, I decided to say that she was saving her marriage. If prophet, without those sacrifices, that marriage would have been broken a long time ago. So I would tell people, if they ask me what is marriage, I would say my wife is keeping it, not me. You want to save this girl? What I'm telling you to do should not pass. If it pass seven days, God didn't call me. As I'm talking, if you can call the man, call the man. This is what the Lord said. If you love your daughter, so that you will not run helter skelter. I don't give prophecy to put people fear. If you know me, I'm a very gentle, good, Holy Ghost romantic young man on the altar. So I don't do I don't do forceful things. I do gentle things. I believe in gentility. I don't pass road that I don't pass again. I don't go to places I wouldn't want to go back again. Some of you, I see you on Facebook. I don't talk to you. I avoid everybody. That is me. Or when we do the for one yam sigi yemu. Don't give me anything. I have to meet some of you. Even in Papa's platform, I'm there. I try to avoid everybody. On it. But when I hear thus says the Lord, do this and issue a restraining order to the enemy and let the judgment be given to you. Half of what God has for you, you have not seen a pinch. Through this, your daughter. God bless you. Thank you. Father, I thank you. Pastor IJ, please help me. My son is in school. Help me answer him. Thank you. Hey, what God will do for one, He will do for two. He will do for others. In marriage, you will no more know tears. Sit down. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Mama, when, when, I, I don't know why I want to teach, but prophecy is coming. I, as, as I'm talking about court, 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 I see someone who is wearing, is it weak? Like a lawyer, eh? standing in the court and defending others. Are you a lawyer? Eh? You're a lawyer? And when I said to her, when I was talking to this lady here, I saw you your spirit was carrying this lady behind at your back. Eh? And you are like, what will I do for her to enjoy marriage? This is what you are asking yourself. And you are like, I will be, they have paid my husband the money he is expecting. Is your husband a lawyer too? What is he? Eh? Engineer. Because I just see him. Say, I believe they have paid him his money. I will do this thing he have asked this one to do for the destiny of my daughter. This is what we are here. I wish I have this. I will carry out this assignment. Can I tell you something? This year will end well for you. Yeah. You will cry. But that cry you will cry is tears of joy. Yeah. You'll be saying, I never knew the Lord will favor me this way. 
you're going through some crisis, some storm, eh? the storm is overcome. I will, I, I, I will tell you three things. Number one, what can you do for God? Can you be an usher? Can you sweep the church? Look for something that you will give to God as a service. And as you start doing that, God will clean your destiny. I, I wish you can shout a better amen for her. You see, God clean your destiny. Then, you see the third one? Eh? Your husband loves you. But you don't know he loves you. He loves you. But just that there is a petition against you. And that petition is making him, he gets angry when he shouldn't get angry. And you feel you have given your best and your best is not enough. It will be handled with prayers and then on the altar of your service to God, everything will be settled. Come. Receive grace. Okay. Open your Bible. Let me just say one Go take your jotter and write again. Let me say one or two things. Now, when you issue a restraining order, the next thing you do is to go to court. When you go to court, why are you going to court? It's because you want the thief to pay you. God believes in retribution. The law of retribution says when you catch a thief, he shall do what? Restore. Now, not only will he restore, but he will, the least he will restore is what? Double. That is why the scripture says, for your shame, I will give you double honor. I don't know if you want double honor. You want double honor. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to Papa. To do from bitterness to sweetness. Your sweetness will be restored. If Job sweetness was restored, yours will be restored. Another word for retribution can be reimbursement. That's another word. It can be reimbursement to recompensate. And heaven is going to recompensate us with every sweetness. This is what I hear in this court of God. I hear the Lord saying, I will recompensate you. Ah, 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 ah. I hear Pastor Joma and I hear God telling me I want to recompensate her and she doesn't want compensation. Pastor Joma, come. You came with cola nuts? Let me see that cola nut. Am I hearing very well? How can God wants to compensate somebody and the person says, I don't want compensation? Don't forget, anytime I see you, no Maya, I treat you. Eh? I treat you well. If even if I jam you by mistake. Is this a color not? I consecrate it. It is no more an ordinary color. Let this become a weapon in your hand. Can you call your father's name for me? Shout it for me three times. Does he have a pet name? Hmm? Call it again. Do you like your dad? You love him so much? You love him? Give me that color note. Uh -uh. Because I'm seeing an angel telling me to ask you, why don't you want to present Kola not to your father? Why do you want to stop the community that want to present Kola not to your father? I see a community, I don't know why community. I saw a particular community that said we want to marry you. And I see you turning back at that community. And when I look around, that community is like an institution. 
but it's a community of the saints. But when the church in Abia Logic and Grandpa Baka make a release. Because what the Spirit is telling me is what I'm saying. Think very well. But when the church in Chore Abia Logic, but when pastor in Abia Logic, but when the pastor in church in Chore Abia Logic, no one. Go and pray. Because the Spirit of God cannot lie. I see an institution, and this institution, they gather together, and they are saying to you, Pastor Joma, we want to marry you. And then in the spirit, you are saying, I cannot be involved in this. And your father is saying, Umamu, see how you are, how you are here. with this call or not. Don't throw it away. Pray it. Pray over it very well. And say, Lord, let your will be done. Hey. Say, I will not labor. And another will eat. Mm, I hear a voice. That's one thing my mother used to tell me when I was small. I got my soul. I won't be cause of people to laugh against me and lose. If I say this, I want to say, Papa, may I collect this phone from me, this microphone from me. But can I tell you? Come, let me say it to your ears. It's only me and you. celebration no longer again. And can I tell you the truth? I saw a generation that is generation of Ijoma. And everybody we are so classic. And I saw you handle this microphone as I was ministering. And Papa cross his head and was just nodding and smiling. That's another dimension of you I saw in the prophetic. Come. You put your hand like this. Can this thing be true? Come. I'm talking, you are so passionate. You like them? The way they talk, you just look at like this. You are looking at her like this. So passionate. With one eye, the guy had my car body motor. That was your fire. I wonder, no wonder. He was so passionate that if tears, if it's easy, tears would drop from his eyes. Can I tell you something? You have a good heart. Follow me. You have a good heart, but. Come on, hug me. Hug me. There's something I want to remove from you. <laughs> hug me again. Hug me again. Hug me. <laughs> Come. You will not die young. Yeah. Papa, please, you will help me pour oil on his head. You will not die young. You 
You see this children's department, I will put you there. When you are coming tomorrow, buy them candy. Give Pastor Joba money. She will buy. For 12 Sundays, you'll be buying children biscuits. Sweets. Nigeria, we call it sweets. Let the children see you and be happy. And for every Sunday, you will sit where you will sit. You'll be the first one to come. You say what? You don't want what? You don't want in the children's department. You will come. You will sit that place they sit. Papa said he doesn't want you there. You will sit where children sit. Are you hearing me? I don't know why God asked me to tell him to sit where children sit. Papa, please. This is a prophecy. You will sit where children sit. Are you following me? You will sit there. I'm a man I like and then I go and then I go keep up and then I go in car. Everyone can explain the area. But you, you will sit down there where they sit. You will see, get sold yourself out to God though. Are you following me? That is the only thing. Oh my God. No woman will strangle you. You like woman, what do they do for you? Making money will not be a problem. But this money will be useful in your hand. And you have a good heart. That is one good thing about you. Your heart is like the heart of a kid. Do you hate me? Are you angry? I'm saying what you don't like. I should have told you this thing in the private. If you came in the open, that is why I'm telling you in the open. If you came in the private, I would have told you in the private. God will bless you. You will not die young. But you know what? You will sell yourself to God. Did I ask you to dash me money? Did I ask you to sow seed? But you will still dash me money. Because Holy Spirit did not tell me to tell you to dash me money. But I will tell you to dash me money. But Holy Spirit said, sell yourself to service. <laughs> Buy gift to children. Sit down. I know children, when they come to church, they sit down. Sit down. And whatever I sign, make do. Are you following me? You will see God lift you. Amen. You will see God bless you. Amen. Congratulations. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you praise. And to come, give me color. Who is spoiling libation and breaking color not against you? Tell Papa to open his hands. Take that color in your hands. Tell him to break it on your behalf and destroy every evil color going against you. Are you with me? Lift that hand up. Say every evil color broken against me. I reverse it today. In the name of Jesus. If you shut MM, it is done. Continue this teaching tomorrow. Stand up. Let's pray. I want to do prayers. Come. Come. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. Lawyer. Are you a lawyer? Are you are you the same? I spoke to you yesterday. Eh? And I told you that you are going to smile again after 90 days. Did I say that to you yesterday? come. There is something that they are using to monitor you. What they use to monitor a man. You, this hair you shave, is it guy or that you lost somebody? You lost your husband. Because in the realm of the spirit, they use something to monitor your husband and I saw him in a gasket. And I didn't want to say it out because I don't like prophesying about death. So, but since it's coming from you. Now, there is something that was made redundant that 
your late husband for out of nothing he just forgot about it and it was made redundant and it is in the village it's something that moves in the rib of the spirit I saw a horse before I saw a horse in the rib of the spirit but this is not horse whenever God is showing me something like horse it might mean a car are you following me it might mean a car, it might mean a bus but it's something that moves because in the scripture horse that is the means of transportation so what I saw is a horse and this horse is tied in the village and this horse was a point of contact that was used against your late husband they will not use such thing against you and every channel they are using to monitor you will be closed down because I see a heavy conspiracy from those who buried your husband against you. But I see grace in this house speaking for you. Amen. I told you something I said yesterday. I said, I said, I said that you should be committed in so winning. Did I say that? Hey. As you are living here to Lagos, you are going to give a contract. <laughs> it's not everything I will say concerning you in the open. Come. Will you obey my instruction? I want to give you an instruction. Will you obey my instruction? I like the way you are coming like a macho man. Stretch your hands. Come. I like the way you come like a macho man. Come again. Run, run, run. Uh -huh. I don't I want you that your macho man. They make me I don't want to talk to you. So make I use when he goes macho to talk to you. Congratulations. When our father was prophesying to you yesterday, I saw a mortal billionaire. When he was speaking to you yesterday. I saw a mortal billionaire, but I saw a man. I saw a man that they want to stop before he will shine. There are a lot of stars that have never shined. You will pray this prayer, I will never be a star that will not shine. Because you are a star and you must shine. But I'm going to take something from you. It's not man of God. It's not for church. It is me. And I have never done this since I have been preaching here. I have never done it. And I will do it in the open. You will give me money for four tires for my own car. I'm saying it openly because I'm not going to ask you your number. I'm not going to talk to you after now. But I'm going to take money for four tires for my car. Do you know why? I'm taking money for four tires from you because I'm putting you on the speed lane. I'm putting you here on the speed lane. And after taking this seat from you, I give you to be dedicated in service. I will tell you three things you will do in the private so that no ear will hear me. I want the ears to hear that I took money from you. The money owner, I want them to know. The other one, I don't want them to know because that is the secret. But the money owned is the one I want them to know. So that when this prophecy do not happen, you can tell Papa and say that your son, he collect my money. Papa tell me, Ugo, return that money in double fold. But when this thing happen, you call him again. Tell him, say, that, that pastor, make him come again. Will you obey my instruction? You obey. After service, you meet me. So that you transfer the money today in the presence of my father. Thank you. Forgive me, sir. It's what the Holy Spirit tells me I'm doing. Forgive me. Forgive me. I want, I, 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 I want to do what the Spirit says. There are some people, you know, sometimes I will say, give this thing to Papa, but the Spirit of God said, no, take it from him. Take, take this thing from him. 
there is something God is giving you. You are a mortal billionaire. Mama, I pray for you. Your children will exceed you. I'm going to take a sacrifice from you, not for you, but for your first son. I will take this sacrifice from you, from your first son. And then I will tell you something about the day. You have not really gotten to that height. A lot of people are praying, using you as a prayer point. They are using you as a prayer point. And God said to me, Dockers must not only die before the people will, she will put smile on the people. I am seeing another generation that you are taking to federal government. But your first son that opened your womb, your first son that opened your womb should not be behind. I don't know why God is speaking to me concerning your first son. And I don't know why the Lord is telling me let her raise a sacrifice for her first son. But I stopped where the Holy Spirit stopped. And the Lord said to me, after this sacrifice, I should tell you seven things. So that, I said, Lord, why? He said, so that it would not be that she was manipulated by what you say about her son. He said, let it be that she obeyed your word to give. Then you can give her that prophecy. Will you obey that my instruction? I know you, you always obey my instruction. You know, last time you bought me one shirt for, 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 I didn't know why God didn't tell me to tell you to come and stand my clothes. Because the last time you stand my clothes, you gave me 100,000 to go and buy shirt. So if I just tell you now, hey, I say, Holy Spirit, give me prophecy, give me prophecy, give me prophecy. Would that you go carry some sign, come pour for my head. The thing no great come. You know what for the thing? Papa say, if you are prophesying, prophesying. I know you always ask of Professor Mbada. If you come to church today, don't prophesy to her. Any prophecy you will give her, I say, I've had you. He said, if you have prophecy, tell her after service. Talk to her and make sure it's not prophecy that we have to do with money. I said, thank you, sir. I came to church. He put me inside. I want to come in. He just dragged me. He dragged me inside that place, inside that house. He said, come, 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 come. I said, don't worry. When I come to church, I've had you. But what the Holy Spirit said I should do, I will do. Can I tell you something? Nobody will ever cause you bitterness. Watch and see everyone that have caused you tears. How their story will be. Health and divine health is not a prayer point. Congratulations. But the one of your son will be the sacrifice. I will take it from you. Something like tears may drop on it. You, will, you are not making a transfer. You are giving me a money that tears may drop. If you do a transfer, I will go and catch it. It will drop from you. Sir, this money is not your money. I will give it to an old man that retired the ministry and that have no home. If you want to verify, if I will give it to an old man, assign me with somebody, two or three to go to with me. But it's an old man who have retired in ministry that the Lord have allowed to see 99 years of age is the person I will give that money to for the destiny of your first son. It's not for the man of God. It's not for the building of the church. It's not for anything. It's for an old man you don't know the old man, but the Lord has showed me the old man. You can assign me with people. If it's Pastor Fanny, if it's anyone you trust in the church, let them go with me and I would give that money to them. What the spirit directs me is what I do. Everybody stand up with your collar not. It's action time. What is it in the collar not? 
that will make our fathers, our ancestors not to start marriage until the color knot is present. What is it in the color knot that will make an evil man to say, Onye weteroji weterandu. There is a covenant our forefathers have with this. But it's not a negative one. With color knot, the African culture, in the Igbo culture, with color knot, they can make a man. With color knot, they can destroy a man. Now leave that color knot. Say, oh Lord, that scripture says, if the foundation of the righteous is destroyed, what shall you do? My father, from when my great grandfather met my great grandmother, every transaction that took place while I was in my father's lives, that Kolanot was involved, that they have used to stop me. Today, I lift up Kolanot and I reverse it. Every statement that was done against me, that was said against me, and Kolanot was involved. Today, I raise Kolanot and I destroy it. I reverse that statement. Statement of failure. Statement of stagnation. Words that were spoken over a collar knot. And that collar knot was broken. Was it broken on a kete? Was it broken on a day? Was it broken on a four day? Was it broken on a four day? The four market days that the evils covenant themselves to to make money and to make wealth. Anyone that has used color Lord to petition me in any of these market days in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus I declare those petitions no one has you have it in your head in the name of Jesus I break such yoke look at that color knot so who have broken color knot against me who mentioned my name in any shrine and broke color knot I stand in this court of the Lord
against you? Who called your mother's name and broke Colanot and said the children of your mother shall not do well? Who was With this color in your hand, to all elders.
structure and face the scripture. Because as it is in heaven, I got you, Lord, you chinye, you got you, you chinye, you did 24 years as you know in heaven. I've discovered that we church people sometimes, we don't get results because we are busy doing arguments. And we leave some practical things. Watch how your life will be after now. I told us that tomorrow, nobody should miss tomorrow's service because after the teaching tomorrow, we we'll pray we are going to serve the earth communion. Papa will do that. So, you, it's even good. Tomorrow, is if you can pick sand from in front of your office, tomorrow, pick it. You can pick sand from your yard, pick it. You pick sand from front of the bank, pick it. Bring it and come to church. The earth will receive communion on your behalf. That is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, when it touches the earth, it has everything. That is what we call blood of sprinkling in the scripture, right? The blood of sprinkling was what our forefathers do as libation and awaken as central spirits. So when we call the blood of Jesus and sprinkle it to the earth, the spirit of Christ will be operational on the earth on your behalf. Because the Lord is our deity. He is our ancestor. Are you following me? Tomorrow's service. You must be here with your family. You must be here with anybody you love. Then let me give you one irony. Anybody that trusts you, try and bring the same person. The person will go back and die. If your children are not around, carry their clothes or their picture and come here tomorrow. We will sprinkle communion on those their pictures. Don't miss service tomorrow. You will know under this corporate ocean what the Lord is about to do. Now take that color not. Not your head. Not your blood. Not your head. Not your blood. Not the blood of your children. Not the blood of your loved ones. There shall be no loss this year. There will be no loss in your finances. There will be no loss in your business. There will be no loss in your health. You will not suffer any form of loss. You will not know any form of loss. You will not be put in the place of disadvantage. You will not be put in the place of disadvantage. You will not suffer loss of any kind. In the name of Jesus, this day I bring you out from every cover, from every cover, from every altar, from every shrine that is against you. As you shout the blood of Jesus three times, I demand your freedom. Number one. Number two. Number three. And somebody say amen. amen. Take a seat in your hand. The highest denomination in your pocket. Take it and wrap that cola knot. If you have a thousand, don't bring five hundred. If you have five hundred, don't bring two hundred. Take the highest denomination in your pocket and wrap that collar knot. If you have a thousand, whether it is two five hundred is a thousand, wrap it with that collar knot. Wrap that collar knot with it. Wrap that collar knot with it. Come to this altar of the Lord. Now listen to me. If you are coming here. You are coming with a strong argument. You are coming to issue a restraining order. You are coming to stop evil in your life. Kneel down on the altar and speak to your father in heaven. It's Papa that will do this prayer for you to receive it. He's the elder. He's the elder here by reason of the anointing. Man of God that don't have color, not take money in your hand. If you have done this prayer, kneel on this altar 
and said, receive my invisible color note. If you have your children, give them something. Carry them and come on this earth. You cannot remain the same. Jesus Don't mama on the altar Lift your voice Do you like the way you are? Do you like what you are going through? There can be a change You can be better than this Issue a restraining order Stop every activity you make money if the money do not finish until the money finish another money will not come into your hand is that not an error every error in your life every error whatever that is going through in your life issue a restraining order stop it Papa, please. In the name of Jesus. Just stand on your feet. Drop it with the color, not drop. 
again let's celebrate Jesus Amen are you blessed okay please you know um, I am one of the associate pastors here you know that uh -huh. tomorrow service we are going to start very early but we start please by 4 o'clock I want to hand you the microphone Papa overfed me today so, you overfed me today. So, tomorrow, I will come early. I want to handle this microphone by four. Now, there are things I'm supposed to do with the caller note. You are supposed to hold the caller note while I talk to you. But because of time, when we finish, we are going to work on the caller note. Please, please, the money, remove the caller note. Those counting money, remove the collar knot and give it to Papa. We are going to work on that collar knot with prayers. It's very important. The way you are coming tomorrow, come early. I want the meeting to be around 4 o'clock so that by 6 at most we are done so that we prepare for the Thanksgiving. Get me Coca Cola or Mirinda where you are coming. The bottle is your own. I say we are serving the Earth Communion. So that you can have the one to go. You can also serve your body communion. You can serve the chair in your, on your office communion. Are you following me? Now, there are some people that have poured evil libation on that office. We are reversing them. Because we have broken color not. We are talking about sweetness. So don't miss this service. All we are doing is talking about sweetness, sweetness. Tomorrow, tomorrow we will enforce the capacity of that sweetness through our star. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. I beg of you, come with that. Sit as a family tomorrow. Sit as a family. The unction of tomorrow, I believe God will be higher than the one of today. Permit me. Pastor Ijo, that is a book given to you, right? Um, Papa, please. I came with some of my books. You know, when I wrote the other book, Riches Within Your Reach, you, you gave me money for, for 100 copies of the book and took only one copy. The one I did, I've, and you've been disturbing me. You said, since you wrote that book, have you written another one? So I decided to do one. It is, thank you, my help me. It is two. One is um, enforcing the capacity of your star, which is this. Some of the things I teach is in this book. And so it's a grace that comes from this house. The other one is a, is a complimentary copy which is a man of vision. Please. This is an author of our father. I have to respect it. I can only introduce the book. I don't know how it can be passed around. I am done. Jeremy, welcome my father in the house, Bishop Hugo Webbs. Praise the Lord.
message about the star. You heard about that? About stars. How to make use of your star. How to make it shine. And how to enforce the capacity of your star. And when you want, and then you don't want a black man to see. If you hide it in this, you develop submarine and go there and find it. You put it in the moon. He will call Elon Musk to be the hotel in the moon. You will be there and find it. If you put it in a book, you will never find it because they don't read. And everyone that needs to be enriched in the inner man must be somebody that received information. The Bible says that immortality has been imparted into us by the word that we hear. We're sorry, we're still here. So there is a book that we have here. One is a man of vision. The vision of a man will keep him alive. What is vision is the ability to see your tomorrow, participate in your tomorrow, live in it before seeing it come. That's vision. Do you understand what I'm saying? A man of vision will last a life. A man of vision will never expire. A man of vision will always be relevant. A man of vision will never be inconsequential. So this book is teaching you about visions, how to live in visions. We have different types of visions which I cannot talk about here now. And all of them are in the family of revelation. And in the family of revelation, we also have the one that is in the family of inspiration. But I will not talk about that now. The other book is called Enforcing the Capacity of Your Star. Make it work. Let it be functional. It's one thing for you to know that you're a man of a great star. It's another thing for you to know how to make your star to work. Am I talking? Some people can arrest somebody's star. The man, the, the woman they called Deborah, arrested the star of Cicera de Jabin. By when there was a battle, he commanded the star of the man to come up and told the stars and the moon to fight the man from his constellation. And the man got confused. Instead of running to the place of safety, he ran into the hand of his enemies. There are many of you here today. What is happening to you is somebody manipulating somebody that have you are allowed to have access to your inner man. And it begins to manipulate the star of your destiny. Nobody can take charge of your star unless it has entered into your inner man. That's why you need to increase your sensitivity and your spiritual intelligence to be able to know when. The problem we have in Nigeria is that the intelligence of this country are not functional. Some of them, they are functional, but they decided to keep the intelligence. And that's why you see Boko Haram will go to Kuje and talk about going to uh, kill your president, even though your president is the organizer of that. Intelligence is too important. You can't be rounded up without an intelligence. So you need to improve your spiritual intelligence so you'll be able to know when to say amen and what to say amen to and what you should not say amen to. Am I talking, friends? So that's why these books are out. Enforcing the capacity of your star. It's just 48 pages. And these 48 pages will begin to rewrite your destiny, resculpture your destiny, and give you understanding. The Bible says, that good understanding give it what? Favor. What does it do? It gives you favor. Hallelujah, somebody. So the book is here. And we're going to start buying it. 
Bishop, how much is it? 1,000. 1,000 is too cheap. Am I talking, friends? It's too cheap for heavenly knowledge. But I believe you subsidized it. So a copy is a thousand naira, and it came with limited copy. If today is your first time of being here, stand up on your feet, please. Your first time of being with us. If today is your first time, come forward to this altar. Come. If today is your first time, come. I want to pray for you. Come. Don't be shy. Run, run, run. Walk. Walk fast. Let Pastor Fine come. So you didn't want to come up before. Yeah, better. When I say bring book, they rush out. I want to give this to you as an as a gift. I will pay for you. And I need hundred of this is how much? Calculate this to me. This is up to hundred thousand. I don't think so. At least 100 of is 10,000 for you. Sorry. Have I given all of you? Four of you. If yesterday was your first time of being here and you came back again today, come. Yesterday was your first time. Come, be fast. Yesterday was your first time of coming here. I have a gift for you. If Tuesday was the first time you came here, come up. Tuesday, when I preach first, Tuesday was your first time of coming here. Stand up. Tuesday. Run, 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 run. Don't waste my time, please. You'll be here since Tuesday. Hmm? I'll give you two books. Please count it because I'm going to pay for it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Go and study and be approved and be inspired in Jesus' name. Make sure I see you tomorrow, okay? God bless you as you get back to your seats. Please, this book is a thousand naira. Because of time, I won't continue to market it here. Tomorrow, if you're coming, your, pass, your password is this book. Tomorrow. Hallelujah. Naturally, me, I didn't want us to have a program tomorrow. But the, who am I? The Holy Ghost says there will be a program tomorrow. But in the morning hours, make sure you go and get your PVC. Anybody that does not have PVC is the enemy of God in this nation. And will treat you as one. Make sure you get your PVC. Tomorrow is the last day I have, right? Huh? Somebody speak, let me know. Sunday. So, tomorrow... Sunday evening, go and get your PVC. Please, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. Are you blessed? Talk back to me. Are you blessed? Shall we all stand on our feet? Stand for your hands towards the man of God and say, Lord, reveal him with your beauty and your glory. Increase the viscosity of the oil that he carries in the name of Jesus. Put your hands on your head. If there was a prophecy from the mouth of the man of God to you, please step out. Please be fast. Don't waste my time. There is no time. Please run. <laughs> All of you join hands together. Put your right hand on your chest. A man got a vision. And the vision was confusing him. And the vision wouldn't have come to pass. And the vision would have killed him until somebody came and interpreted that vision for him. One received interpretation and sent him to disaster. 
Jabez got into interpretation that sent him to the palace. Pray this prayer after my, my voice. Say, Father God, circumcise my heart and interpret the prophecy over my head. Say it loud. Lord, circumcise my heart. Weed my heart of any way and form that is reasoning now contrary to your mindset. Say it. Contrary to your mindset. Lord, interpret these prophetic words and give me good understanding about them. May I not allow my mind to be used to destroy me because of the word of knowledge I got in the name of Jesus. Everybody say amen. Go back to your seats.